Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm trying my hand at the Mindlink Mech and Bloodletter of Aklazots combo. And if you're a fan of Ash Lizzle, you're probably already familiar with this combo. But for those of you who don't know, Bloodletter says that if an opponent would lose life during your turn, they lose twice that much life instead. And because Bloodletter is not a legendary creature and its abilities stack, you can play Mindlink Mech turn 3 Play Bloodletter turn 4, crew Mindlink Mech with Bloodletter, copy it, attack him for 4, and essentially you're doing 16 damage. Now, I forgot to do the math before recording these games, but really all you need is one other creature, say something like uh, Deep Cavern Bat, a 1 1 flyer, and attack in with Mindlink Mech. That's 5 damage. 5 times 4 is 20. That's lethal damage right there. So, uh, one of the games I. I do kind of mess that up and uh, miss lethal. See if you can catch which game it is. Aside from that, the rest of the deck is a pretty good Demir deck that has multiple ways to draw cards and dig through your deck to find the combo pieces. But even without the combo pieces, you should be able to win. You have cards like uh, Subterranean Schooner and Stalactite Stalker that can get pretty aggressive. Preacher of the Schism is a great blocker as well as a great attacker. The Death Touch makes it very difficult to block as well as attack into, and that 4 toughness is nothing to laugh at. For removal, we have 3 go for the throats, 2 bitter triumphs, and 2 make disappears. And that's pretty much the deck in a nutshell. So without any further ado, uh, let's just get to those games! On the play! And uh, yeah, so I recorded a whole entire game, and then realized that uh, I was not recording. So, that happened. This is... Yeah, I think this is keepable. Kind of got, um, turn two, turn three, play vehicles kind of a slower hand, but this is actually really capable. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I drew that land, because I thought, <laughs> I thought this was Dark Slick Shores, so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I got uh, untapped one and two. Did not, so, good thing I drew Dark Slick. Dark Select Shores. Okay, going up against Legends, apparently. I should still be able to get a yeah, good attack in with this schooner. I could just, uh... Alright, here's the question. I could go for the throw of the Rona, but I think... I think I'm gonna do this. And try and find the fourth land. Should I play the Mind Link mech now? So. I think so. This way I can, um, if I don't draw the land next turn, I can still get the creature in. Human. Are they a Joda deck? Oh, okay. Exile my uh, graveyard. Mm hmm. But this also means they're, they can only play creatures, right? Ooh, Deep Cavern Bat is pretty nice, but I think. I still think this is a preacher. This doesn't have Death Touch or anything, right? What do they have for one mana?
cut down? And go for the all attack. Or, you know what? It's probably uh, this creature's uh, ability that's holding up priority. Underground River and a swamp. Yay. I'm gonna just do this now. Alright, just get all the lands. But, as long as they can't win next turn, I think we should be able to win next turn. <laughs> well, I guess they could still have like some sort of flying uh, blocker or something, but... Weird. Hmm. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay. I want to do. No. <sighs> I have a Boseju. They play Jota next turn. Could be bad. Bosage is kind of bad for our mind link max. See what their last card is. This is the one that gives everybody hexproof. Uh, sure. Okay. Um. So, I'm gonna go for the throat, Sigarda. Then they'll have to uh, sacrifice um, this card. And then um, maybe we'll draw another removal <laughs> for Sigarda. 
okay. Pass. What? <laughs> I changed my avatar to something a little bit fitting instead of the dinosaur for this deck um, on the plate, which is good. And this is an interesting starting hand. Um, I'll keep it. I don't know why I tried to play two lands. <laughs> and get the schooner down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what they have cooking in their hand. I guess Brutal Cathar. I'll be honest, this is going to be hard if I don't draw land. Mine like mech. I need lands. See if we can at least get a PT. Nope, we got another land. Alright. Well, that means I can play Blood Letter of Eclizot next turn. Ooh, how much damage am I taking? Part of me kind of wish I kept that mind link mech, but uh, you know. Oh, oh, dang. All right, they tapped out. Okay, uh, but yeah, they still have a good block. Um, it's unfortunate. Okay. So I can do six damage. Uh, six, seven, eight damage. Hmm. And turn. Can I survive? So, stag like 
blocks Adeline. I can block one of the tokens with the uh, blood letter of Apathot. Um, Spyglass Siren. We'll crew the uh, schooner. Black, okay. Alright, so I'm pretty sure Pretty sure I'm dead, but we'll see. Alright, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> um I dropped my phone. <sighs> On the play. What's a... It's a decent hand, I think. Um, we can keep up, make disappear, and then play Malcolm. And then Ma Malcolm is a great way to shape your uh, hand, so we can keep up, make disappear if we don't use it on turn two. Dark Slick Shores, turn two, pass the turn. Ooh, mono red, not mono red. Boros, maybe? Humans. Okay, uh, resolve. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see. Um, make disappear is probably going to be useless here. Creature of the schism will be great. Uh, if they don't draw another land, this is pretty good right here. And we just need one more black untapped mana. Then we can get in some real damage. Okay, open up here. Okay. Oh, but it's tapped. All right. 
So... I guess Preacher... Or do we hold up go for the throat? I think we hold up gold for the throat, right? turn. I'm probably going to play Imidane. Oh, if they draw land. They don't have land. Just another Warden. Okay, yep. So, they don't have a mana. I think they're dead next turn. Maybe not. So. Do we kill the knight? Okay, yeah, let them tap whatever they want. Much is this? Two, three, four, so only eight. Leave that back some blockers. And that's four, so. Ooh, do we play out the other other one? Yeah, I don't think they can do 20 damage yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Goes there. Uh, that goes there. Goes there. And that goes there. Then how much is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Uh, next. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> it's always kind of um. Uh, nerve-wracking to play against uh, the Convoke deck, and I was lucky enough that they did not get their third land until the last turn on the draw. I think I need a different hand. <laughs> this is actually a little bit better. Um, I think we get rid of one of the go for the throats. We don't need two, right? All right, start off with tap land. Mono green? Glad I got rid of the go for the throw, because apparently they were all right there. Okay, gruel, iron crag. All right, let's see what we're working with. All right, um, let's just get rid of Gweta for now. Dinosaurs, okay. They drew removal.
Okay. Then, uh, yeah. I guess this. And then make the superior whatever big thing they play next. Yep, not very big at all. Maybe I should have left up make this appear, but I'm hoping that their top deck is not that good. It just seems like it's not. All right. This is good because now we can hold up uh, make disappear for anything big they play. <laughs> I feel bad. They probably flooded, but I mean, uh, we didn't do that well either. But we still uh, about the same amount of lands, right? Two, four, six, seven. Two, four. Six, yeah, so yeah, we drew the same amount of lands and same amount of things, and we were both uh, we both mulligan, so equal footing. We still won. Excellent. All right, different day, and uh, continuing on with the recordings, um, using a slightly different version of this deck. Uh, added Kaito. Uh, we are on the draw. Ooh, this is a kind of a difficult, difficult one, but we could go tap land, undercover river into deep cavern bat. Let's try that. We've got plenty of removal going up against Demir. Looks like, nope. Oh, okay. We're going up against a, uh, uh, what's it called? A self mill, salt eye self mill. Um, yeah, I guess we just get rid of squirming emergence. Found in the third path. All right. Um, there's nothing for us to really grab with the uh, our second bat. So we'll just go spy siren. And I guess we could do this now. Should have done this before we attacked, but. Uh, I don't think we need any more go for the throats. Okay. They got Squirm. What do they have in here? Nothing. What do they exile? They exiled Squirm, but they didn't have nothing to play. Okay. I kind of want to go Blood Letter Eclazots, but if they have removal... Let's just attack in. I feel like if they had removal, yeah, they would have just used it on the bat. So we're just going to keep up Go for the Throat and uh, Malcolm. Terratide. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Get Malcolm down. My turn. Uh, 
Well, what do they even have in here? Okay, they have a couple things. Hmm. I think we just grab it with the uh, bat again. <laughs> they have the bitter triumph, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Alright. So we're just better. Get the bit of triumph, right? Alright. So we gotta try and end the turn or end the game in two turns. We play the Mind Lake mech. And then Aglazad the next turn. Okay, they're gonna gain four life and put a shield counter. So we go ahead and kill him now. We create a four four. Let's hope that uh, they don't have anything too crazy. So, okay. I think we got it. Because that can't kill... They'll kill Malcolm, probably. Get rid of their... Uh... Yep. And then uh, Blood Letter of Aklazat's next turn. And we should win. me on my toes a little bit but uh yep on to the next on the draw with uh i don't know if this is a keepable hand but we could go the same like right as the last game um tap land turn one turn two deep cavern bat all right let's try it let's try it Hope that we draw land. We drew land. Okay, well, we could technically go untap now, pass the turn, see what they play. Coppercoat Vanguard. Okay. Uh, this deep cavern bat. See if we can uh, disrupt their turn uh, three. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess brutal Cathar. Another one. Attack for three. No blocks. Shipwreck Marsh. Let's go, Gix. Draw card. Okay. Dahlia.
My Lake Mac. Hmm. Attack in action and the turn. Now we could block with Gix if we have to. They've got the Brutal Cathar. No longer block, but I think. So. What's. 4 times 2 is 8, 16. So we don't have quite enough. So instead. I think we do this. Gain some life. And to prevent it from going into night, I think we do this now. Right? Auto pay, auto pay. Hopeful initiate. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. All right. And two attacks. Boom. Woo. On the draw with a not exactly the best hand. Um, we can go Island, Swamp, Hold Up, Go for the Throw, or Malcolm. Or turn one, Island, Spyglass, Siren, right? And then turn two, we'll play Underground, River, or the Swamp, and then Hold Up, either Go for the Throw or Malcolm, depending on what our opponent does. Mono Red. Two Mono, okay. Alright, we draw too many lands. On the draw against Mono Red, this is this might be a uh, <laughs> a lost cause here, but we'll see. Okay, so far they've got everything. Is it worth blocking at all? Um, just gonna go with no blocks. If they're gonna use their play with fire that way, I'm like completely fine with that. Okay. That's a easy answer. <sighs> All right, so we might take a lot of damage, but hear me out. I'm thinking if we draw the blood letter next turn, well, we'll be dead either way. <laughs> Um, actually, this is pretty good. 
We'll gain four life, and we get to kind of see what's in their hand. Well, let's see. If we take Bloodthirsty Adversary, they can... Uh, here's Warcraft my bad. But do we care? Okay. We'll do this. And we won't attack in. See what their move is. Well, it's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, resolve. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll copy the bat. Resolve. Pass the turn. Well, I mean, I'm gonna take it. I, I mean, I'm gonna block it. Spell Pierce. Is nice. That's a turn. Mind Link Mech, not quite what we're looking for. Wow. Turn. Oh, boy. We could just kill the Godric with the Stalker. Oh, man. Do we take five? Do we block? That's a tough one. Okay. We can't let him... Alright. Here we go. No blocks. Kidding me? Alright. Uh... Okay. Oh. 
hope you're ready for some moves. <laughs> Bet you can't catch us. All right. So make Kaito make a blocker. Good chance they have removal for the blocker. So Swiss spear and both. Okay. Well, in this case, we do not block because there's no point. And hope that we just draw removal. That's not removal. Well, dang. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, we're surviving this one. Wow. I would have been better off milling myself. Let's see. They can kill four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. You wouldn't notice me. Um. Yeah. We tried, and that's it. So what I have here is the version two of this deck. Uh, basically, instead of the Preacher, we went with two Kaitos and two Gix. And then uh, we got rid of Make Disappear and Bitter Triumph and went with uh, Cut Downs and Spell Pierce. And that's pretty much the entire change. Uh, went up on Subterranean Schooners and went down on Stalactite Stalker. So a little bit more focused on removal in the early game. And then uh, just try to get the combo out. As for which version I liked better, I, I, I really can't say. I think Gix might be a little bit better than the Preacher. Uh, Kaito is a very interesting addition here. I haven't really had a chance to kind of really see Kaito shine in this deck, so I'm not sure if Kaito works in this or not. Maybe like just four Gix is better than um, going two and two. That's all I have for this deck. I hope you enjoy the video. If you stuck around this long, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, Remember, have fun playing magic, and I'll see you in the next video.